Do you believe in fate? I never thought about it. Will it get me your phone number? Don't think about it. Just say the first thing that pops into your head. You have beautiful eyes. Second thing that pops into your head. You have beautiful eyes. Come on now, stop it. At the beginning of the movie, she's got, you know, very fixed ideas about what she thinks about fate. And also she has the feeling of having plenty of time too. And I think then 10 years later, she's sort of realized that her, you know, the $5 bill didn't come back to her or, you know, she didn't, her life didn't happen quite how she thought it would. So she's turned her back on absolutely everything and just kind of gone for, you know, her leading with her head a little bit more. Um, and I think what's nice at the end of the movie is she sort of comes back to somewhere in the middle. Like she doesn't, she doesn't just sort of get rid of everything magical altogether. Maybe you should give me your phone number. That was an accident. There are no accidents. This is wrong! You don't have the most incredible night of your life and then leave it all to chance, do you? I mean, this is supposed to be a, you know, pure sort of fantasy date movie, magical kind of life-affirming movie. It's not, you know, it's not, uh, it's not an intellectual exercise. It's a whimsical movie. You see, that is what happens when people get hooked on the new age life. They end up sitting at home burning candles for Mr. Right when Mr. Good Enough for Right Now is waiting at the corner bar. It is just a myth. Yeah, so I think that too much of that is not good because real reality is um, true intimate relationships are hard. There, It's a lot of work and it's filled with un unbelievably joyful things, but it's also work and you know, you have to confront parts of yourself that aren't so appealing, and it's not like this big easy thing. It's hard. It's serious business. I'm telling you right now, British women do not age well. Years ago, you know, she probably looked like baby spice, but now she could look like old spice. I don't think guys talk as much as girls do about it, yeah. to be honest with you. And from what I hear from girls, they really get into detail. Serious detail. I mean, like about the size of things. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Guys don't go that deep into it. Guys don't? Well, what's, the, what's the deepest you, guys get? Guys go? Um, 11 inches. <laughs> uh. Hey, baby. Now this guy, he's, he's like Alec Guinness. Yeah. So good. Star Wars. Obi-Wan. All right, right here, what are they doing? What, what's their attitude? What are they thinking? Why don't they ask me to stay in the village and have a feast? Yeah, yeah we got cat cats. You know, we did Sex and City together. We got yeah. dumped. We got dumped on Sex and City together. Mm -hmm. And now we're getting dumped here and, you know, movies. Hey, ooh, everyone wants to be in movies. <laughs> it's not so glamorous, you know what I mean? Tell me you love me. I love you. Tell me something romantic. Like what? I don't know, like, how I'm the only girl in the entire universe meant for you. I think to make people laugh is the easiest way to access anyone's heart. You know, I, I, I think I, I do it often directly before the most moving moment hmm. in a film I'm directing and sometimes literally just after the most moving moment. There's something about it and uh, that's what I tried to do through this movie is to keep making them laugh at the same time as, as feeling stuff. You know, they just had to have the relief. So it seems to be working. Stay there. Okay. If we both randomly pick the same floor, we're meant to be together now. You're insane. Sometimes he believes in it and then Dean uh, doesn't, and then sometimes then Dean, Jeremy Pennant's character, starts to really believe in it, and he gets frustrated with it and says, "Oh, I was wrong." So it's really kind of jagged that way. And by the end of it, you know, he really does believe in it. Okay, get in, take a breath, and then when the door closes, hit the button. I don't understand this. You don't have to understand. You just have to have faith. Faith in what? Destiny. That's just crazy. Yes, you have my heart broken in a thousand places, of course. Yeah, that's why you become actors, I think, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> totally devastated. Is that why? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Odd, broken-hearted people, yeah, I think so. <laughs>